Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many React Native developers encounter. Our viewer asks, how do I get the data source's length of a list view? This is a crucial aspect when working with lists in your applications, and understanding it can help you manage your data more effectively. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you work through that resolution. Let's continue on. To get the length of a data source in React Native, we first need to understand how the data source works. The data source is designed to manage the data for a list view. In your case, you have created a data source using the listView.DataSource method. You then clone it with your array of objects. However, to get the length, you should refer to the original array, not the data source. To find the length of the data source, simply use the length property of the original array you passed to clone with rows. For example, you can access it like this some objects array.length. If you want to ensure that the data source is updated whenever the array changes, you can create a function that returns the length dynamically based on the current state of your data. In summary, Always refer to the original array to get the length of your data source. This will give you the correct count of items in your list view. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To get the length of a data source in React Native, you can access the data directly from the data source object or set the data as a property of your component. Once you've set the data, you can easily retrieve the length using this SumObjectsArray.Length. Just remember to update this variable whenever you change the data source. And that's it. I hope that helped find the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.